Hello everyone. Uh, this video is for make not making the spindle as much as installing it. And I have a little trick with uh, chairs. This is a, a rocking chair, and it, the the uh, back is glued on so tight, it it would damage the chair to try to take it apart to put a new spindle in. So what I'm doing is I'm cleaning out the old hole. Uh, and what I do is, as you can see, I drill a hole with a smaller, I use a smaller bit to drill out the hole in the center and uh, use a chisel to chisel out the old spindle parts that are in that hole. And then I can um, go ahead and drill it clean with the right size and it's always at the right angle. You don't, you don't disturb the angle of the uh, hole. Uh, and then what I do, I drill through, a lot of times I'll drill, drill all the way straight through the chair so that that's, when I'm installing the new spindle, I can go down deep into the chair and then um, come up back into the top. As you'll, you'll see here what I do, I, uh, right now I'm cleaning out this other hole. You see I'm drilling it with a smaller bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to chisel it out and blow it out with air hose and uh, so I keep the angle and I don't, you know, make the hole too large or anything. So now I'm going to go ahead and I've got that um, so I can, I can go, I can put the a new spindle in and go down really low enough to push it back up into the top. And uh, you'll see that in a second. Here we go. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to go down real deep, tap it down. Get it down, down, below that line there. And I'll go ahead, once I get it deep enough, below there, I can push it. And then I can force it back up into the top. Okay. And now what we're going to do, we're going to put some wood wedges into the holes. And that will lock in that spindle. It will never come out with these wedges. I do the same to the top. And then put a little putty around it uh, once it's done. And that's how you get it in there without taking the whole chair apart. It's quite a time saver, trust me. And um, anyway, that's that. And we'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's a little trick I developed for repairing broken spindles. Using the original spindle, if it's in still in good condition, it can be installed back on the chair. And it's just the broken, broken where it goes into the chair. So you have enough of the spindle left that you can actually reuse it. And this is a really cool technique. And what I do is you got to get some springs. You can, uh, sometimes I've used springs out of old ballpoint pens. Uh, but you can find uh, uh, springs uh, in lots of places. But at any rate, you get a spring that will go in the hole. And you got to be very careful to drill into that spindle and get it uh, just at the uh, center, because if you go off center, then you've ruined it and you've got to make a new spindle. So you take your time doing that. And then you get your spring. You see that I put a spring in there. And then what you want to do, once you get the spring in, you want to push the uh, dowel down as far as you can go, uh, flush with the top of the spindle, and then mark it and cut it off so that when you push that spindle, it'll go all the way, and when you push the dowel down, it'll go all the way flush with the top edge of the spindle. And this is how you can get it into the new chair, uh, into the chair, not new chair, but it's how you can get it back in, onto the chair back, uh, in this case. Uh, and you'll see as we go along, it's sort of hard to explain everything, but you'll see. So I'll try to tell you as we go. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm manipulating that spring till it's in there and it's flush.
See now, you see that now I can go down. Now I, need, I would need to mark that so I cut off some of the spindle. So only a little protrudes uh, that can, yeah, see here I'm going to mark it. Okay, and then I'll make that cut there. And that'll give me enough that when we put reinstall the spindle, it'll go in uh, back into the chair. And with glue and all, it should be uh, very substantial and uh, enough to say, here we go, it's flush. So now I can, I can get it down. See there, I can get it down to sneak back in the chair. Okay, and so once you get all that done, you'll see the next step. Um, Okay, okay, now here it is. I've installed it at the top, and now we're going back down into the bottom. And before I do this, you've got to put glue in everything. Okay, but that's that's showing how it's going to go in once we apply the glue. Okay, so do some gluing, put some glue on the joints. I think I'm using epoxy in this case. Yes, I am. I'm using epoxy. It gives you a little extra strength, a little better gap filling properties in this case because it's going in a little loose. So using epoxy is a good choice, at least on the bottom where there's all this movement and such. And that epoxy will give you a very strong bond when that goes in. There. See, I got it in. Now it's locked in place. See that? Now when that epoxy dries, it'll be good and strong. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and a subscribe if you like. I've got tons of videos, probably over 200 on YouTube, and got all kind of how-to tips on repairing furniture, making furniture, and doing wood turning and such, restoration of antiques. I've done it all over my 50 plus years of experience. So thanks again.